I mean, the main challenge that we faced when we were growing our business was the rate of growth that we were going at. So trying to employ people for the amount of jobs that we were creating was probably the biggest challenge that we had. We just couldn't find enough people with the right skill set to be able to do the job that we needed. Um, so one of the things that we created was our own training academy to be able to train people so they got the right skill set to do the job that we needed them to do. As consultants, our work tends to be in the here and now. We're not investing for the future. So we weren't really looking for a lot of finance. Uh, we, we, uh, we were able to finance growth out of our working capital. But what was invaluable to us was the support of people like um, UKTI, uh, the British embassies around the world, the various things like China, uh, British Council, India British Council, organisations like that, which could introduce us to the right people, tell us uh, some of the ways of doing things, and advise us of the pitfalls in various countries. And uh, as I say, I think that was um, instrumental to our ability to go into new countries and start operating fairly quickly. I think it's ambition. Uh, it's all about uh, getting British businesses to want to grow and to grow employees, to grow profits, to grow wealth generation, to grow exports because that's the way by which our economy is going to grow and so for me uh, all of our work around medium enterprises is about encouraging them to be bigger, better, faster, leaner and more professional than they are at the moment. But certainly a, a big, big challenge that we've been uh, addressing is um, looking at how we uh, access a funding ladder. Uh, in the UK, there's often quite a lot of funding for early stage technology ventures. There's probably quite a lot of money available at the uh, scale-up end where private equity comes into play. But in the middle, there's probably a funding gap where uh, it's quite hard to find um, venture finance and where the public markets are currently quite risk averse. So uh, we've been looking at innovative ways in which we can address that, for example, by um, working with corporate partners who can share some of the risk of developing our product uh, in exchange for obviously tailoring that product and having some access to selling it at the end.